themselves, but turn on their cameras. That'd be really, really good. Morning, except guys. You, How are you going? How is everyone? Yeah, except me. Give us a thumbs up. Good. Can you hear me? Yeah. How's everyone going? Good. Yay. Hi. Awesome. Oh, there's a dog there. Hello there. Dogs are. Oh, Alex. There's a puppy. Hey, uh, sorry about the technical difficulties, guys. We're having some some issues with Zoom. So thanks for sticking around and sticking by us. Um, yeah, we've got Tommy you. Garrett. Hello. Tommy Garrett's our NBL one oh, boy. star. So he's going to take you through some ball handling. Um, as, as Tommy said, make sure you've got your uh, microphones on mute. Uh, unless you've got a question or something, right, Tommy. <clears throat> um, you don't have to have your camera on, but if you want to get feedback, Tommy's going to lead the session. So he's going to be taking you through the activities and all the, all the drills. And I'm going to be here at my camera um, doing some of the drills, but then also giving you guys some feedback and some tips as well. All right. Yeah. So over to you, Tommy. Thank you. All right. So guys, yep. My name is Tommy and I, we're going to do some basketball today. We're going to do some ball on the string. So working on our handles. Um, I'm planning on teaching you guys a new move or two and um, hopefully you get really good at it and you can start using it in games and at trainings and against your dog, whoever. So um, just to start <laughs> off, we're going to get um, nice and loose and warm. And what we're doing today involves a lot of shifting with our hips. Okay. So moving side to side. So all I want you to do, we're going to start off with, we don't need a basketball yet. We're going to do a defensive slide and then we're just going over to a groin stretch. Okay. We're just going to go back and forth doing a few of these. Okay. So starting off, we're just nice and low, hopping over into a, def into a groin stretch. Okay. So we're getting used to shifting our weight while we're in this low wide stance. Good job, okay. everyone. Everyone should be up away from their camera. Let's go, Alex. Good job, guys. Everyone's stepping back, shifting side to side, couple of steps side to side. Good work. Nice. All right. Now we're going to do, we're going to change up just a little bit, but very similar. Now, once you go across, I want you not to go, not to stretch first immediately. I want you to go over, back, and then stretch. Okay. So we're coming across, we're going over, sorry, we're going over, back, then stretch. Over, back, stretch. Okay, so if you can see me, hopefully you can. Good job, Ruby. Shift, we're shifting our body weight just a little bit. So with our legs wide, we're just shifting our body weight, okay? Good, Good job. So we're waking up these muscles in our body that we're going to use today. Good job. Awesome. All right, let's start. Uh, we're going to get couple more things so i'm gonna just grow, go into a quad stretch so grabbing your foot and bringing it up to your bum and just trying to balance for 10 seconds or so i hope everyone's well rested today we're all energized caffeinated vaccinated appreciative hope we're all aspiring Hope we all have conquering minds and also sympathetic ones. Okay, so <laughs> the next thing we're going to get into is just a couple of lunges, okay? So again, we're just getting the blood flowing. So all I want you to do, just put this uh, one foot forward. We're dropping this back knee and then bring it back, okay? We're just going to go for a few of these guys. Just sort of working out balance and working on um, just loosening up our legs a bit. Alex. Job guys, I can, I can only see Jared, but I'm sure you're all doing great. Yeah, do you want to spotlight your camera, Tommy? So if you go, if you click on your name, you'll be able to say spotlight for everyone and you'll stay on the camera even when I'm talking. All right. You know what? Click your I would name. Love, I would love to. Well, you can click on my name, and make me co host, and I can do it if you like. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Good job, guys. Keep working. Keep working. Yeah, good job. Spotlight. I did it. There Wonderful. he is. Great. Awesome. All right. I don't want to look at you guys. Awesome. Okay. Great. All right. So what we need now, um, I need you to find a, grab your basketball. I need you to find a line. Um, just letting in Daniel Spangler. 
<laughs> need you to find a line or a, or a marker or something. And you're going to place it. I hope you can see me. Or the cone, I hope you can see. Um, we're just going to be facing sideways, okay? So if you have a line, you're going to stand on that line. If you have a marker, even better, you're going to place it to the side of your right foot, okay? Now, all we're going to work on to begin with is this nice, uh, is this dribble that's going over and back, okay? So watch this, it's going over and back of this marker I have, so my cone. If you have a line, that works perfectly as well, okay? So we're just starting with our right hand going over and back, trying to get used to this feeling, okay? Bringing the ball back, having the ability to bring it forward. Job. So remember, we're, st we're staying in this nice wide stance with our bent legs, okay? We're very balanced with this ball going back and forth, okay? Submitting some more people. Good job. So those who've just joined us, we're getting Make to- Make me co-host, Tommy. I do. I do want to do that. Make me co-host, because then I can let everyone in while you're demonstrating. Yeah, that's great. Make co-host. Thank you. Awesome. You're welcome. All right. Good job, guys. Okay, now switching over. So now you can just turn around or use the other hand. Now we're doing the same with our left hand, okay? So going over and back this cone. So we're standing directly next to it. So we're dribbling on the outside of our foot, okay? Now, what you want to try and do is try and keep your eyes up. Be a bit difficult, but it was easier when we do it. Job, Reed. Job, Colton. Watch out for your baby brother there. Bend your knees, mate. Get down nice and low. It, As with so all these our, drills, guys, it's in the detail. Yeah, so you can just fluff yeah. through it if you want, or you can bend your knees, stay down in a stance, and practice game like ball handling. That's right. We're in, a wide, we're in a wide stance and we're bending our knees. Okay, so now. Job, Alex Noble. We're gonna we're gonna change it, Jared. You're admitted them. We're gonna change it now a little bit. So we're going back to our right hand now. Every time the ball goes back, from now on, I want you just to try and look to your left. Okay. So all we're doing now, all we're doing is changing our head movement. Okay. So this might sound really little, but. If you're playing defense, a lot of the time you look at their eyes to try and read where your man's going to go. So now when I dribble with my right hand, as the ball's coming back to go back over the cone, I'm going to look to my left, okay? Now it'll all make sense in a little bit. So it's coming back. I'm looking to my left. Looking to my left. Okay? And we're just sort of getting used to using both sides of our body, okay? So we're looking to our left while we're dribbling with our right hand. So again, while the ball comes back, as it's coming back, you're looking to your left, okay? With your right hand, you're going back into your left. Good job. All right, we're gonna swap over now. So we're going with our left hand. Now, as the ball comes back, now we're gonna to look to our right, okay? So look, comes back, look to our right. Jobs up. Job, guys. All right. Dave. Great. Now we're going to do is we're going to change it up a bit. So going back to our right hand, we're still, we're just adding on layers, okay? So now, as we go back over the cone, we're not gonna dribble it down behind the cone, okay? We're going behind it in the air, so I hope you can see my, I think you can see my cone here. You're going behind it in the air, but then you're gonna bring it back down in front, okay? Behind and then in front, okay? So now we've gotten used to, we're not carrying the ball, so we're not putting our hand underneath it. We're just getting control of it. So this, um, Hopefully you're under 12, the under 12s here are using size fives because this will make it much easier with a smaller ball, but we're going over and we bring it back. So same thing again with our right hand. We want to look to our left when the ball goes back, okay? 
So we're looking to our left as this ball goes back over the cone, but we're not dribbling it down behind us. We're just going back in the air and forward, okay? And then every time we go back, again, looking to our left. So we're staying nice and low, nice and wide. Good job. Good job. So it's like a hesitation dribble, yeah? Not carrying, just a little hesitation, bringing it up. You can go straight into a push pass if you needed to. Good work, guys. Good job. Awesome. All right. Now, I'll go to our left hand first, sorry. So now going to our left hand, doing the same thing, okay? So just bringing it up, looking to our right. So as the ball comes back, we're looking to our right as we dribble with Good our job, left Cody. hand. Great job, Cody. So you're shifting your weight as you do this too, guys. This is, that's the key as yeah. well. That's why Tom was warming yeah. up our hips. Yeah, that is what we're getting to we're right shifting now. So that's going to get our defender. Get our defender Good out job. of position. Good job. So now, just holding our basketball, just you know, our chest or, or just keeping it nearby. We're not going to use it just for now. But I want you to get in this defensive stance. And now I want you just to practice leaning your body, so leaning your middle of your chest over either leg, okay? Just practice being able to feel balanced and feel comfortable as your, your legs aren't moving, but your upper part of your body is going more over either side of your leg, okay, either side of your body. So now it's going to be a bit tricky, but once you get the rhythm of it, it becomes very easy. So now we're going to drill with our right hand again. But as it goes back, as the ball's coming back, I'm going to shift my weight to my left. Okay, so as, the, as I dribble, the ball's coming back, I shift my weight to my left. Okay, again, we're looking to our left. Okay. So this is where we're getting a bit tricky. So it's key to this, having nice wide legs and bending your knees, feel your muscles turn on. We're bringing this ball back. So we're not putting it down. We're just bringing it back and going back forward. And we're shifting to our left as we dribble to our right, okay? Good job. So Good read. we're going to continue with our right hand now. Now, I want you more to just, we're going to still try and shift, but now we're trying to step as well. So just a tiny little step with our left foot. Okay, so... We're going with our dribble. Bring this cone here. And we're just a tiny little step. So now we're still shifting. So the shift is really important. So as in we're shifting our weight, we're still shifting, but now we're doing a little step as the ball comes back behind our hip. Okay. And remember, we're always, as the ball's coming back with our right, we're always looking to our left. Work, guys. Good. Your little crew doing well. Put that step, get that ball out to your right hand there, though. Just out to your right. Good. Awesome, guys. All right. Once you've practiced a few of those, now we're going to start to try and use it as if we're uh, in a real game, okay? So if you have a ring, that's great. If you don't, that is also okay, okay? All I want you to do now, set up a marker or put a leaf down or something or spot a line. Okay, and what you're going to do, I hope you can see my cone. What you're going to do is now you're going to run up to this line, up to this cone, and you're going to do this new move, okay? So dribbling up to, I'll go this way. Dribbling up to our cone. Once we get to the cone, we're going to step with our left foot to the left-hand side of the cone, and we're going to bring this ball back on our right. After we do that, we're going to our right, okay? Now, this move is what we call a drop, okay? Because we're dropping our weight one way and we're going the other. Okay, so coming up, we're going to drop and then go. Now, remember, we're drilling with our right hand. We're trying to fake out that we're, look, we're going to go to our left. So the saying is, eyes sell lies. So that's why I'm looking to my left. I'm trying to fake that I'm going to my left, okay? So dribbling up to the cone, going and then going forward. So if you have your ring in front of you, now you can come up to your cone, do our drop, and then finish the layup and come back, okay? We're just gonna go for five of these. Um, if you don't have a cone, uh, if you don't have a ring, then that's fine as well. Just keep practicing this move. Good job. You go, Tommy. I'll
talk to him. Alex, good job. Let's go scout and tape. One of you can do right, do left. If you're working with the brother or sister and you've only got the one hoop there, obviously, one go one way, one go the other, or go one after the other. If you don't have a hoop, you can still practice this in pace. Job, so we're dribbling up to our cone. And doing a nice, Cody. Good finish. Good job. Wonderful. Okay, so now I want you to try going with our left hand. Okay, so same again, but now we're stepping with our right foot as we dribble with our left hand. Okay, so we're looking to our right, we're stepping with our right, and we're going to our left. Okay, as we drop our weight. So remember, as we get to the cone, we're going to be nice and low, nice and wide, nice and balanced. And then we're gone. Okay. Go right, for it. So just go for a few of them on your left hand now. So try and practice both sides. Good job. We got Job Laney and Alana. Use whatever space you've got. So we're building it up now. Should be getting closer to game pace. Dribbly at that cone. Take that side step. So Caleb, that side steps with the opposite leg, and you're stepping out to your right, not back. That's right. So as we drill with our left, we're stepping with our right. And we're looking to our right. A bit better. Yeah. Good. Good HG girls. Awesome. Great job, guys. Yeah, okay. So now, what I want you to do is just come back to the camera. And I want you now just to... You're going to start with one cone, okay? You're going to start with one cone in front of your right foot. So, Jared, can you see my cone? Uh, sorry. I was on... No, we can't quite see it there. How about yeah. here it is? We can just see it. Yep, yep, we can see it there. All right. Good. Okay. So, now you're going to start with a cone in front of your right foot. We're going to put the ball out straight in our right hand. So, just holding it like pizza... Uh, like a pizza, okay? <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, now, what we're going to do from here, you're going to step outside the cone with your right foot. And as you do that, you're going to bring the ball, okay? So what I want you to... So what I want you to do... We're going to start... We're working on this leaning idea again. So the shifting, so shifting our weight, okay? So as we step outside, we're shifting our weight over our right leg. Okay, we've got this ball out straight. Now we're gonna cross it back. Now the important thing with our crossover is we wanna go through what's called our gate. Our gate is between our knee and our ankle. Okay, so we're going nice and low. Okay, we're stepping, we're leaning, we're shifting, and we're bringing it through our gate. Okay, so start off just with this ball out nice and wide. And you got your right foot starting behind the cone. You're going to step to the outside of the cone, shift, bring it back. Okay. So we're just starting off with this. Get used to being nice and low, being able to shift your weight across that leg and then cross it back. Good job. So just have this ball out in front of you to the side, step, and then cross it below that knee. Nice. Good job. Good work, guys. All right. What I want you to do now, uh, we'll go with our left hand. Sorry. Go with our left hand. We'll get working both sides. So now put your left foot behind this cone. Maybe give it a little bit of space, okay? So I'm not sure if you can see. But don't have your toe at the cone. Have a little bit of space between your foot and the cone, okay? Now, same again, put the ball out to your left hand. We're going to step to the outside of the cone, shift our weight over our left leg, and then cross it back below our knee, okay, through our gate. Now, this one is important. What I want you to try and work on now is looking to your left. Okay, so as the ball's out in our left hand, this time we're looking the way, again, we're looking the way that we're faking, 
okay? So we're looking to our left, not directly, not sideways, but sort of on an angle towards our left. So if we were gonna dribble with this left hand and go forward, we'd go on an angle, okay? So we're gonna to look to the angle. Okay, we're not looking here, we're looking there. Okay, so just keep practicing this for a couple more. Okay, get used to being able to shift your weight, drop it nice and low, and then bring it back with the crossover. Awesome. All right, guys. Now what I want you to do, I want you to grab a second marker, okay? So what we're doing now is just gonna to start to slowly bring it all together, okay? So now I have my two markers. I'm gonna stand about a, as you put your hand down with your finger touching the cone, I want you to put about a hand's length away from the cone. Okay, so we have a little bit of space, okay? Now, both feet are behind, both feet are behind a cone, okay? It's really good. Can you see the cone? Yep. Yeah, I guess you can. Awesome. Yep. All right. We can see both. So, awesome. We're going to do the same, starting with the ball out in our right hand, holding it like a pizza. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to step outside with our left foot, so outside the left hand cone and then outside the right and bring it back. Okay, so now we're doing two steps. So one to our left, then one to our right. So left, right. Now, can anyone guess when we step to our left, we wanna to look to our left. When we step to our right, we wanna to look to our right, okay? So the eyes are very important with this, with this move, okay? Left, right, cross. And dribble it on the uneven ground. No, so. Starting both feet behind both cones. We're nice and low. We're going left, right, cross it below our knee. Okay, so we're just working on shifting our weight. So as we step to our left, remember we've got to shift our weight over to our left leg. Step to our right, we're going to shift our, our weights over to our right leg. And then we're going to cross it nice and low back. Left, right, cross. Good, Good job, guys. Yeah. Now what we want to do, same on our left hand side. So now we're going to start with the ball out in our left hand. We're going to put our right leg outside of our right cone, looking to our right, our left leg outside of our left cone. So then we're wider than the cones and same again, bring it back. Okay, one, two, cross. Right, left, cross. Awesome. All right. What we're going to do now is we're just going to try and start with that. Okay. So what I want you to do, um, I want you to get used to, you're going to put your cones, hopefully you can still see my cones. You're going to go towards the ring now. So what we're going to do now is explode. We're going to do the same thing with our right hand, but now we're going to practice going after it. Okay. So I want you to try and explode and go really fast after you do your move, okay? So starting with the ball in our right hand, both feet behind a cone. We're gonna step with our left, shift our weight, step with our right, shift our weight. Now I'm wider than both cones, going below our knee and then we're off, okay? If you've got a ring, I want you to go and go score a layup, okay? So left, right, cross. Okay. Thank you, guys. Remember, try and really work on your eyes. So as you step with your left, you look to your left. As you step with your right, you look to your right. Good work, guys. It's a fairly eyes. advanced move. This is advanced footwork, so take your time. Slowly speed it up as you get the hang of it. So shifting right. our body weight. Good work. Good job, Matita.
So remember to start with that ball, hang that ball out, out right. wide. Hang that'll it out nice and that. wide. That'll help you get into that crossover. Hang it out there, Nick. There it is. Shift, shift. Yep, that's it. Good. Just don't pick up that pivot foot. Good work. Good job, Laney and Alana. I can see you off in the distance there. It's good. Good job. All right, guys. Good. Now what I want you to try and do is with your left hand. So, Jared said something important there. Once, if you step with, sorry, you step with one foot, the other foot isn't coming up, okay? So you're only doing two steps. You're going outside, so nice and wide with your right, wide with your left, and then you're going, okay? So wide, wide, go. Again, take it slowly at first, okay? Because it is very tricky. So, right, it, we've got a ball in our left hand. That's it, Lily. Going Good job, Lily. Right Lily. foot, That's perfect. Foot. Go. It's good to see you guys working through this, yeah? So, so take it at your own pace, work through it, get the footwork right, and then as you speed it up, you have plenty of time to work on this stuff, build into these moves. Good work. Good job, Louie. Nice. Good. Riley, perfect. Riley Noble. Great job, guys. The steps, the steps, okay, Alex. You look like you, you're not, you're a bit concerned about. It. Don't worry about the step because it's going to be with a live dribble. That's right. Okay, so we might incorporate that now. So, can I get everyone to come back to the camera, please? So now I want you stay with the ball in your right hand. Now what we're going to do is you're going to dribble it. Okay. So how how this works is once you dribble it, so as the ball, you put it down, it's going to come back up. As the ball's coming up, then we start stepping, okay? So down, step, step, cross. So what's important is as this ball's coming up, we're going to go from up to wide with the ball. Does that make sense? Up to wide. Okay, so just try and practice that now just on your own. So just go up to wide. It's a bit of a tricky skill, but the ball's coming up and then your arm's going out nice and wide. So now we're doing, we're doing our two steps. So we are wide left, wide right, as the ball is coming up from our dribble. Okay, ball comes up from our dribble. One, two, cross. guys all right i want you now to try and practice that with your left hand so this might be very tricky but again we're going the ball goes up and then wide up to wide up to wide okay so as the ball is coming up from our dribble so it's going to go down as it's coming up we're going step step and then cross it back Just go off you with your left hand now. Good, Cody. Good job. Job read, good work. Job Chase Johnson, good boy. Starting to get the hang of it, and you'll put your own twist on this move too, guys. You'll have your own crossover, you'll have your own style. Job Raph, job Max. Shift that footwork nice and wide. Boom, boom. good, good, Max. Well done, job Matita. 
good work. So now we're going to try and go into our ring. Okay. So important part for practicing this move. You can see my cones is don't go too close to the cones. Okay. Because what will happen is you'll do your one, two step crossover and then you'll start going forward and run over the cone. Okay. You'll step on it. Okay. So give, you, give yourself a little bit of space between the cone and where you're going to do your move. Okay. So now we're coming up and we're just practicing dribbling it nice and high. One, two, crossing over. Okay. So I'll do that slowly. We're dribbling nice and high as the ball comes up. We're going one, two, there. Okay. Wide, wide, cross. So remember, when we're dribbling with our right hand, our first wide step is our left foot. Good. So try and practice staying nice and low, being able to shift our weight even better. So the more you bend your knees, the more balance you have, the better shifting ability you'll have. Okay. If this, yeah, doing good. Guys, do it at your own pace, build it up. You can see a couple of you thinking it through. Don't stress too much if you carry the ball while you're working through it. Yeah, absolutely. Get that work right, slow it down. Build into it off the dribble. Think about having to do guard this as a defender. You've got someone coming at you. They go left, right. Heavy crossover back to the left. Pretty impossible to stay in front of. Yeah. Pretty tricky. Mix up and finishes as well. If you if you're getting to that stage, inside hand, all sorts of different finishes. If you if you're feeling confident with the move. Yeah. That's it. Try and practice some jump stops after this. Some euro steps. All right. So now I want you to try and do the same with our left hand, okay? So coming in, nice and high dribble, one, two, here. We get it going. All right, doing good. So same again, we're dribbling with our left hand. Our first step is our right foot, okay? So with our left hand, our first wide step is with our right foot, left foot, then we're crossing. That's right. Don't worry if you're going to carry it. And don't worry if you're just trying to get the basics of it. Doesn't matter if you can't go all the way wide, okay? Because that is tricky, especially if you're younger and your hands aren't as big for the ball. It can be hard to control the ball when it's all the way out here. So don't worry if you just have to keep it nice and close, okay? The most important thing is if you can get your legs shifting and your body shifting, this will work effectively. This will work very well. Good, Eleanor. Good work, Eleanor. Get that crossover low. Crossover low, mix those finishes up. Go, Alex and Ben. Good job, Eleanor. Get that cross going. Show me what you got, Ben. Where's that crossover? Awesome. Go, Alex. All right. Guys, we're just about ready to tie it all in together. Okay, so this is the very, this is the last step. So now, because sometimes, so can I get everyone come back to the camera? Now, just because sometimes, this one dribble isn't enough time and we don't want to just put it up nice and high because then they can get a steal. Now, instead of just going up nice and high, we're going to do our first kind of dribble again. So we're going behind, remember this one. We're going to go behind. So now what it looks like is you're going to go behind one, two. So when you put it up nice and high, you're going back. So the defender tries to steal it. If it goes, nice. if it goes high, the defender might try to steal it but because you're bringing it back, that's just a little bit extra room that they can't get to. Okay, so imagine this hand's my defender. Bring it back, they can't steal it. Okay, so starting in front of our cones, 
Just start from stationary. So that means from still. And bring it back. One, two, cross. I need to that. Okay. So as we as we bring it back, we're stepping with our left foot. So it's like we're selling that first drop move. Okay, so that first drop move when we come up to the cone and just sell it, just step with one way and go. That's the move that we're trying to make the defenders think we're going to do. Okay, good job. So just try and practice getting it in that little cradle almost. So that ability to bring it behind your hip. And then from behind your hip, you're going out wide to cross it back. So behind, wide. So instead of going up high to wide, now we're going <laughs> behind. So back to, to wide. Good job. Once you've practiced a few on your right hand, try and practice some on your left hand. So back. Yeah. So as the ball's coming back to our right, so behind our hip, we're just stepping with our right foot, okay? And then as we step with our left foot, we're going out wide. Remember guys, what sells lies? It's eyes. So if you're feeling very comfortable, try and start to work on where you're looking as you do the move. Awesome. All right, what we're gonna do now, we've got our one cone, we got our ring, all we're going to do now is just pretend this defend this cone is our defender. Okay? So, the sequence I want you to go through. You're going to dribble up this cone, and we're going to do our first drop move. So, we bring the ball back, we step, and then we go. Okay? So, remember our first move. We step, we drop, and we just go. Okay? The next time you come up, you're going to go with the same hand. And then you're going to add in the crossover, okay? So we drop, but then we step and cross. Okay? So the first one is just the drop. The second one, we're adding in the extra step to cross. Okay, so the drop. Oops. The first one's just the drop. The second one's the cross. After you've done it one side, so after you've done the drop, then the cross. So those two on one side, you're going to do the same two on the other side. Okay. So get used to doing this move, dribbling into it, to then slow down and then just exploding out. So get used to dribbling into your defender's space before you go and do the move. Remember, you want to give yourself some space between where you're going to do the where you're going to do the move and the cone. All right, you don't want to be dribbling the ball or stepping on the cone. You want to be dribbling the ball on the cone or stepping on the cone. Work, guys. Game pace now. We're finishing off this movement. Yeah. Nice read. <clears throat> I 
right. Are we going to 10, Jared? No, no, 9.45, mate. It's, no, right. please. It's just about it, five minutes. No, no, no. <laughs> all right, guys, what I want you to do, just this last one, I want you to try and practice. <laughs> so the same thing, we're just going to work on this crossover, but now, so one, two, cross, instead of going forward, so one, two, cross, this right leg is going to be your first step into a jump shot. Okay. One, two. Into our jumper. Okay. <laughs> so this is the just about the hardest move I can think of for you guys. Okay. So now we got wide, wide, cross, one, two. Jumper. All right. Practice those a little bit. Nice read. Um, Job, Alessandra. Perfect. Yep. Good work. Good, Alex. Job, Job, Cody. That's perfect. Let's go, Louis. Nice.